Real versus fake. Real versus fake. Real creates. Let me tell you something. Real creates and real has real results in the real fucking world. Fake acts. Fake cannot adapt. Fake denounces what they desire from their inability to get the real results. Fake buys that shit off the motherfucking shelf and real creates it from within. All my years in the penitentiary, I saw individuals run to that bag, run to that bottle, run to anything but that work that built them. Where do you run? Where do you run when life gets sick, when life tries to hand you those events that you drew in, motherfucker? You're aligned with a certain outcome through your thoughts, actions, and energy. And as I sat in the penitentiary and watched men with negative acts desire positive results, I knew this was impossible. This was the epitome of fake. This was the epitome of lack of alignment, lack of understanding, lack of ability to adhere to universal truths in a positive way. Humans will continually do this over and over again, learning the lesson and relearning the lesson, relearning the lesson until they finally learn the lesson. This is failure to adapt. Geniuses are proactive. Fuck, do you get me? Geniuses are proactive. Baby boys are reactive. Men, men have genius inside of them that's instilled at birth. When you can actually align yourself with that voice, that voice that guides you from your heart, that voice within that every culture other than these fucking unwoke baby boys out here call the voice of God. Your conscience is the authentic voice of creation, the authentic voice of God. And as you sit in that pain 24 hours when you're truly facing adversity, you're actually conscious. You're actually hearing that voice. But when everything's given to you, and you're that spoiled fuck who just thinks that adversity is not having everything you desire. You're voided of that voice from within. You can't hear it. Humans' inability to adapt to nature's law in a conscious way is what will always keep them from the path they're supposed to walk. And motherfuckers want that path illuminated from start to finish. This path only illuminates and lights up as you walk it. As you earn the next step. So faith. So faith in what's right is what lights. What lights the path. You guys don't get it. You never had everything taken. You still think these fears you have out here will break you. When I'm telling you every fucking thing you fear. When it gets handed to you. It's what's going to make you. It's going to make you that motherfucker that's unstoppable. That mindset that's unbreakable. That individual that reports above and not to himself. Nothing below. If there's one thing I need you motherfuckers to take with you. It's that the cure to everything that ails you already exists within you. I've healed myself through just the most common techniques. <sighs> Anytime I'm experiencing a negative internal state, I know that that negative feeling is just a notification for self-preservation. I'm slacking in an area. I'm not adhering to my vision. I'm failing to walk my purpose. Your purpose. You. You. Your purpose. You are your purpose. To create the individual you always needed. That you looked up to. That would save you from you. So healing you is paramount. Really healing yourself. And teaching others to do the same. Is the only gift you can give in this world. That's worth anything. You think giving someone tangible items. Would do anything other than hurt them. You have to give them the wisdom. And so therefore that's why. The most significant thing we can do. Is inspire others. And teach them to walk a path of resistance. That built us into what we are today. Teach them to understand when they see the Lambos, the Rolls Royces, the money, when they see this supposed gain in the sensory world, that that was only built through chasing a feeling. 
the feeling each day of creation. Thus, why I say, a real man creates. Real creates. Fake acts. There is results attached to real. When you get this, you'll no longer be able to victimize. You'd be able to look in the mirror and say, am I creating who I admire? If you're not acquiring what you admire, then you're not doing the deep internal, internal work to overcome everything that ails you. Look at someone. Unhealed individuals, they're broken by everything that comes their way. Healed motherfuckers know that the devil don't take checks. And then every time he acts out of alignment with universal truths, he will be handed a punishment. Saw a bitch made motherfucker the other day. I say karma's not real. Maybe that the universe was not just giving punishment. That cause and effect wasn't fully backed by the universe. I watched people in prison. Walk a certain path for years upon years upon years. Saying that they wanted freedom. Saying they wanted their family again. This is the only thing I want. This is all I desire. The second they got a chance to go back to their old ways. They did. And there was a punishment attached to that. To our negative acts. We're punished with time. That's why the correction system actually works. Because you guys ain't sat down long enough. You never had to sit down and really be present during this pain. So therefore, you haven't been able to create. Let me tell you something. As soon as you create the individual of your dreams, you'll be able to create the life of your dreams. Because that individual will keep you from the negative habits that are aligned with the future you don't want. I've watched it over and over and over and over. And I've done it. I've been on both sides of the fence. Let me tell you. That if you show me a man's habits. I'll tell you his fucking future. Walk in alignment with the habits I show you. Don't fall victim to the timeline. Your chapter one is not my chapter 15. Like I said before. You don't even start understanding who you are until chapter seven. Back steps, doubt, fear. You can't even alleviate the fear till everything you fear, everything you fear comes to break you. And you realize that was the next level. Like I said before, new levels, new devils. You guys, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna show you every fucking day from the gate when they took the chains off to the heights all fine later in life. And where I'm at today, that your habits will truly create your fucking future. A man is as simply as good as his daily habits. Align your thoughts, actions, and energy with the outcome you want. And you can't be stopped. I love you guys. Let's go.